to check it out. It's in the evening. Just parked here. And uh, sun's about to go down in about, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. But there's some beautiful light here on these trees and the moon's in the sky, perfect angle. I've been wanting to do this for like over a year, paint a nice sunset light with the moon rise happening. So this is perfect right here. I think I like some of these pine trees uh, off in the distance here. And I'm gonna invent, kind of move the moon in the sky a bit and just create a nice uh, little scenery here as the sun's going down. So no time to really uh, think about anything. Luckily I don't have to overthink this. I just, boom, bust this out and uh, hopefully it's gonna turn out well, but I'm, I'm excited about this one. So it's, it's mainly getting the, the, the trees and the temperature right, you know, and, and make sure I get the moon in the right spot because I'm gonna leave that the white of the paper. So anyway, I'm gonna jump right into it here. Quick episode today. Or maybe I'll show more of the painting process if it turns out good. So let's do it, man. I'm excited. This is cool. This is really cool. It'll actually be great if I can find a bench or something to sit at because then be a lot easier. Oh yeah, look at the trees now. Oh yeah, this is perfect. This is it. There's even some nice flowers here, little sun sunflower type flowers. I'm probably not going to add those in the painting, but there's a bench right here. And then that's my that's my scene right there. Yeah, so check it out. So I'm thinking either these trees here or this, that pine tree is pretty nice. And then uh, there's the moon. Beautiful sky. And uh, the light's only going to get more beautiful, but it's also going to disappear very quickly. So I'm going to get into it. Let's do it. All right. Not sure why I decided on a vertical, but it just felt right. So I'm going for it. So I think right away I want to get the light on the tree because that's going to disappear first. So that's what I'm going to go for right at the beginning here. So I got like 10 minutes to do this before the light's gone. If that, probably less. Because it always, it doesn't last as long as you think it will. So this is gonna be tricky. It's like an orangish green I'm trying to mix up here. And it may, it's probably like a broken color type of scenario here. Kind of a wet into wet scenario that I'm gonna have to do. But I want to simplify. Now I probably should have done the sky first, but uh, too late. I'm trying to get the light on this tree. That's that's my main focus right now. So that's what I'm I'm going after. I'm trying to get some warmth in there. Do the cools, the bottom. It's a much cooler green. There's a nice soft transition, so I want to try to get that if I can. There we go. A little bit of warmth in there. There's a little bit of warmth. And then there's some trees in the distance back here. So 
So this is a pretty abstract painting, um, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's different. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I can put some darks in, uh, in the next stage, but I know I need to get the sky in. But this is all still wet. And that's a really light blue. So I'm actually getting some nice colors in the sky right now. There's some pink toward the horizon appearing. It's getting quite gray. So I'm gonna do my best to try to du duplicate that, replicate that. So now the sky's getting warmer as it goes down. There's a slight bit of magenta in it. At the bottom here. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with the sky. What I'm not happy with is the form of the tree is very flat. Ooh, that's a little strong. Yeah, the tree looks very flat, so I'm gonna have to add in some of the darker values now. And I've already lost the light on my subject, so this is gonna be tricky. So this is where I want to be very careful because my last few paintings of greenery I've overworked. So I want to make sure I'm thinking of shapes. I'm not overworking anything.
soften some of this if I can. Too many hard edges. Okay, I know what it's missing. Branches. Need some branches. That's going to bring this to life a little bit. I knew I was missing something to make it a little more tree-like. Oh, I almost ruined it. Jesus. That was, that would have been awful. Oh. Yep, there we go. I don't want to get too crazy with it, but it just needs enough to make give it that illusion of the Big old tree here. There we go. That's what I should have done in the last episode on my last painting at the water tower. Should have added some branches. There we go. Okay. Pretty happy with that. I don't want to overwork this. This is a really quick sketch. Yeah, there we go. That's that's it, I think. I'm pretty happy with this. Cool, man. My first moon watercolor. Wow, the sky is amazing right now. You guys got to see this. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that painting. Uh, but you guys got to check out the sky right now. Look at this. I should have started painting now. That's incredible. I'm definitely going to have to come back out and do a twilight painting like this with or without the moon. That's just, that's really amazing. It'd be a cool exercise in like uh, reflected light because this is all reflected light, shadow, but just the gradient of the sky would be a really cool challenge. But uh, yeah, this is amazing. And it's not even cold out. It's like beautiful, beautiful temperature. It's probably I don't know, 75 or something. It just feels really nice. But anyway, let's take a look at my uh, finished painting here. All right, there's the finished sketch. I think the branches really brought it together, made it look more tree-like. It's still a funny kind of shaped tree. I kind of did, uh, made it too much look like a fire flame or something, but I uh, did the best I could. I was tempted to put like some details on the moon, but I just left it alone. I think it, it's a lot stronger that way. Really subtle. Uh, colors here. Maybe it should have been a little bit stronger, but I'm okay with it for how it is. But uh, yeah, it came out pretty well, I think. Anyway, let me, let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to check out my other episodes and videos on the screen right now. Greatly appreciate it. Take care of yourself and uh, stay tuned for next episode. Peace.